these banners you see on the screen right now, those came with the plugins. After installation, they thought that it's a good idea to add all sorts of banners on my WordPress dashboard. I don't know about you, but I don't like them. Therefore, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hide them in a way that you see right now. There is admin notices here and they are hidden behind it. So if you're interested, then jump in. First, you may think that, okay, the plugins are free and this is the reason it's okay for them to add the upsell banners here. It may be so, but if we take a look at the WordPress detailed plugin guidelines, then the chapter 11 says plugins should not hijack the admin dashboard. And this you see on the screen is clearly hijacking my dashboard. There are plugins that allow us to dismiss the banners and if you do that, they will not come back later. But for example, this full gallery here, if I dismiss it, the next time I update the plugin, it will be back and I have to dismiss it once again. Really annoying. And this one down below here, this one even thinks that every time I refresh the page, it should animate something here. Once again, it's annoying. So in order to fix it, I'm gonna go to the plugins, add new, and I'm gonna search for admin notices manager, this one here. Just install it. Now activate it and see what happens. Boom, they are gone. And as you see, there is an admin notices menu up here. I'm gonna dismiss the notification. All the settings are here under the admin notices. And here I can set it up, how does it look like? By default, it opens up here. All the notifications are here, but under the settings, you can set it up as you like. Usually I tend to leave the success level notices. The first option that is hide from WordPress dashboard and show them in the plugin pop-up because sometimes there are something I need to take a look. Same with the error level notices, warning level notices and information level notices. Next one, there are no standard admin options, whether to hide or them temporarily or completely, once again, I'm gonna show them under the pop-up. Next, there are WordPress system admin notices. They, those are the important ones. Therefore, I don't do anything and they will appear as usual. Next one, I can choose whether to hide notification from all users or maybe I would like to hide them from only specific users. I tend to hide them from all users. And last one, pop-up style, whether it's slide from the right, like this one here, or as a pop-up, I'm gonna show you what the pop-up is. I saved it, I open it up, and it's here. I don't like this one as much as I like the slide from the right. So, save changes, and done. And pay attention, there is also a feature to hide notices forever. See this one here. If I click on it, I can hide the notice and it will never come back again. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, it's much cleaner. Just to compare, this was before the admin notices manager and this one is after. Now, if you're interested, then previously I have created a Toro video on how to hide WordPress admin menus. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now because there is a video. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions. Meanwhile, take care.